Hello everyone, welcome to Datables. I hope you are all doing fine. This is our new video on how to create date table in Power BI. We are going to show you step by step approach to create a calendar table or date table in Power BI using DEX and Power Query. We will first see what is the difference between calendar and calendar auto function. Then I am going to show you how to create a simple date table using DEX. Then I am going to show you how to create fiscal date table using DEX. Then we will see how to create date table using Power Query. And we will see what is the benefit of creating date table and which one is the best way to create the date table. I'm going to show you all this in Power BI desktop. And in last, I will provide you this PBAX file and these codes. So you can directly copy this code and use as it is in your project. So without wasting time, let's get started. So before starting, I would request you to please do subscribe our channel Data Wolves on YouTube and visit us on different social media platforms like LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Visit our website datawolves.com. We regularly post updates regarding Microsoft certification exam, data science, data analytics and Power BI. If you find this video insightful, then please do like this video and feel free to ask any question in comment section. I will try my best to answer all of them. So let's start with first what is the difference between calendar and calendar auto function. So calendar function as you can see this is the syntax where we will write the keyword calendar then start date and end date then it will create all the date ranging from start date and end date whereas in calendar auto we just provide calendar auto uh, keyword and blank argument it will automatically generate a calendar table based on the dates present in date column in data model so let's say you have a fact table and it contains a range of date so calendar auto auto function will detect the uh, date range from that fact table and then will create date table according to that date range. Now requirement for creating a date table in Power BI desktop for marking any table as a date table uh, there are certain requirements. So the first one is it must have a column of data type date or date time known as date column. Then it the date column must contain unique values. Date column must not contain blanks date column must not have any missing dates date column must span full years turn off auto date table date table must be marked as date table so now let's see how to create a simple date table in power bi using dex so here are the steps to create a date table first open power bi desktop and click on modeling tab then click on new table to create a new table and then in formula bar enter following dex formula to create a date table so i will copy this code from here I will go to this Power BI desktop. Then from this table tools, I will click on this new table. I will paste the DEX formula and then press enter. You can see a new table is created, DEX date table. You can change the name, like let's say change it to simple date table. Now the name has been changed. Now you can see here that we have two formulas to create date table like either you can use calendar function or you can use calendar auto. We have used calendar auto so it will detect uh, the range of date from this food sales table and then we have extracted year, quarter, quarter number, month, month name, month short name, everything we have extracted. So you can modify this code as per your requirement. Let's say uh, in this month short name instead of this comma you need dash. So we have month short name plus year here. So we, instead of comma, you can write dash here, then press enter. You will see that it is changed to dash. Now let's again change to comma. So everything you can change here using this dex. So I think this is very clear to you. You just need to copy this, then paste it in your PBIX file and then you can simply create DEX table. So this is a calendar date table with calendar year. Now let's say we want to create fiscal date table. So let's again go to our website. Now how to create a fiscal date table in Power BI using DEX. So here are the steps to create fiscal date table in Power BI DEX. First, open power bi desktop click on modeling tab then click on new table then in formula bar enter the following fiscal date table now i will copy this from here then i will go to this our pbx file again then i will create new table i will paste the formula dex formula here then i will click enter 
you can see a new table is created and if you see like a uh, start date is 1 4 2020 that is 1st of April 2020 because we have selected 4 as a year start date fiscal year start date now if I scroll to right you can see that fiscal quarter number is 1 and fiscal month number is 1 for April and let's check it for March let me filter it to March Uh, if I scroll to the right, you can see the fiscal quarter is 4th and fiscal month is 12th. So everything is there. In terms of formula, we have used calendar auto and then we have extracted all year, month, uh, quarter, quarter date, day, fiscal year, fiscal month, fiscal month number. And let's say for this is the code for when your year is starting from April. Let's say your year starts from July. Then we will write 6 here not 6 for July it will be 7 and then we will press enter now let's remove filters from this column you can see like date start from July and for July the fiscal quarter is 1 and fiscal month is 1 so through this formula you can create fiscal year date table now let's check how to create this date table in power query so i will again move to website now how to create date table in power bi using power query to create date table in power query follow these steps open power bi desktop click on transformation tab then in power query editor click on new source or and select blank query then rename the query to query one in queries pane and typing a new names such as date table open advanced editor and paste below code so let's copy this code first so i've copied this code from my website then i will again go to power bi desktop i will click on this transformation data then power query pane will open then i will click on new source blank query change its name to date table power query then i will click on this advanced editor and then i will paste my code here and click done now you can see a date table is created and if you want to change the date range you can change it from here now Put turn here then close and apply the changes are applying let's wait for it now you can see we have date table in power using power query you can check the table here so we have a date table using power query now let's say now you want to make date table as an official date table like mark it as a date table so you can click on any of the date table let's say i click on this make date table using power query then i will go to this table tools then mark this as a mark as a date table you need to select the date column so uh, we will choose this date and then click ok now this table is marked as date table now what are benefits of creating calendar table or date table in power bi so first it helps in time intelligence calculation then it gives us consistent date format then it increases the performance like it reduces the number of date table which API automatically create using auto date table then it gives us customization option like fiscal year week number holiday information everything we can do using this date table by creating custom date table and it helps in making report easier so these are the advantage of creating date table so guys that's all for this video if you find this video insightful then please do like this video and subscribe to our channel and feel free to ask anything in comment section we will try our best to answer all of them check us out on different social media platform like linkedin facebook and twitter and check our websites that is datawolves.com so we'll see you in our next video thank you bye